Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 15 of To Your Eternity. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I wonder how she's doing though. I mean, because, you know, she got back to the village and everything. That was the last time we saw her. And Fuji was with her and Fuji told her to go. But we probably will never see her again. But still, she cared for him. Because she cared about all of them. See, okay, you say that now, but if you only a couple episodes ago, if you didn't do anything, everything would have been fine. Did you just really? See, now you're getting a little too curious. It's not poison, is it? Ha! <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Well, damn. Mm. 
Ari, I really don't think that's a good idea. Honey. That too, but I just, in my opinion, I don't want you to get close because everyone around him has died and... Fushi. I don't know, Ari. Same. Just something still feels a little too suspicious about her. Because mm -hmm. remember, she protected March until the end. Of course, because she's so hard-headed. <laughs>
Oh, of course she is. Told you we couldn't trust her. God, this child. Because, of course, everything comes with a price. It's just blocking every move. Crazy is not. Or maybe just knock them out like really, really bad. Or, you know, you know that pressure point around like your neck. Knock them. Oh, damn. This fucked up. No matter what he does, people are still going to die around him. No, Fushi, it's not your fault. Because you don't need to be killed. Mm. Your little brother. Baby has a kind heart. Well, damn, Ari. That's not even useful information, Ari. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, she is fucking around so much.
damn. The hell is that sound? <gasps> is it the knockers? It is. I oh, know, Google. You can't, he already stabbed you. We talking about the rock thing? What? Well, oh no, the anteater looking thing. Oh fuck! Well, yeah, you could pull it apart with the rope. Yeah, but once again, we're still at square one. We don't know how to beat the damn thing since he's a fucking rock now.
shit. Thank God. It's still sad that what's her face died officially. <sighs> but thank God he finally got March back. And Cuckoo. That's all I care about. Like, oh my God. It would have been so fucked up and weird if we would have continued on possibly getting to the final episode of the show and Cuckoo and March, their spirits didn't come back to him. Like, that would have hurt me oh so much. But the fact is that Ari and all the rest of the prisoners at this island worked together to defeat the Knockers with Fuji is sweet. Now, I mean, yeah, I still feel some certain type of way about Ari because, I mean, she she is just almost like any other person out in the world who only cares about themselves. And, like, you know, sometimes the people out here in the world are not going to care about you. But sometimes it's just maybe that one tiny person or one tiny moment where, yeah, there are some people who will care about you, whether that is people you've never even met before, your friends, your family, whoever. And the fact that she wanted to help him, even though, yeah, it was it was either about, like, <laughs> killed or be killed in situations and shit like that. But, like, ugh. I can't stand the show. We only got, five, less than, like, five weeks left with the show before we're done. About five, six weeks left. Ugh. There she is. <sighs> okay. Of course we knew she was going to come back. I, I, I was figuring that, like, today's episode, she probably would have made an appearance, but the fact is that she's not making an appearance until next week. And it makes you wonder, is Fuji going to officially kill her? I do want her to be dead and gone, especially because of the fact is, yes, she's the reason why March died and such. Um... I don't know how it's going to go, but like I said, all I need is that bitch to die because once she shot that arrow on March and March died, I was just like, all right, I see nothing but red. I need this bitch to go. And now that she's back in our lives and now that, you know, also March's friend who told Fushi to run is officially now dead in this show, it, it just makes more and more sense. It's time for her to go. Let's kill her. Like, this is the one death where I'm over here like, yeah, I'm okay with y'all killing this bitch. Like, I don't like her. I didn't like her in the beginning and I don't like her now. But it makes you wonder to see if we, if next week's episode, if we get like a little flashback of like what all has happened to her up until now meeting Fuji again, possibly. 
Um, with Ari's flashback, I, I think it's going to make me like her a little bit more because, I, like I said, I'm still a little more hesitant on her because of the fact that she reminds me of a lot of other kids and especially when I was a kid. Um, some friends and family members that I still know even till this day who is very kind of, um, she has almost like that hustler mentality in a way. But I think it's because she's been so hurt in the past. And it could possibly be in that flashback, but we ain't going to know until next week. And the fact is that we're going to get to learn a little bit more about these kids and their hopes and wants and dreams. It's just going to be even harder when something possibly happens to them. Because I do feel like something is going to happen to these four kids right here, plus Ari makes five. Um... It's it's fucking obvious because no offense. Every time when someone gets close to Fuji, they die. So it wouldn't it would make the most sense to not only kill Ari but to kill these four kids as well. I hate the fact of killing kids because it's fucked up. But something just tells me they're already making a connection with him. Ever since he's gotten on this island and he's seen these kids and they've established like a connection not even a relationship now we're kind of really in a relationship with these kids and we're going to need to learn more about them but they, they are going to die and I, and I hate that like this is probably going to be even worse like when Marge died that fucking hurt when Goo Goo died that hurt when it's kids dying it just hurts it hurts so fucking much even when the nameless boy died like that fucking hurt me so damn much but to see these four kids and they're still kids they're not even like they're they're preteen they're still a little bit maybe of a teenager but they're at that like almost teenager age and you got to feel bad for these kids in this that they're stuck in this environment and you don't want anything to happen to them but you know that because we've seen this from the beginning of the show that no matter what whoever comes around him is going to die i hope he's able to save um Piran, but like who knows there, there's still like a lot of unanswered questions and we only have a few weeks left for the show but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 15 of to your eternity if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magic squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next monday for episode 16 bye guys